the oh, unveiling. The doctor will see you now. <laughs> there it is. Star of the show. Here we go. Because this mic is up so loud. Yeah. You know, because it's it's the gain is on is pretty high on this mic. You walk around, you'll hear it. Really? Your right. foot, you'll, you'll hear footsteps. Hello. Hey. How are you guys doing? Pretty good, man. Come on in. So it's something like that. So another fella. Brett. Brett, yeah, meet you, man. Likewise. You hand with anything? No. Yeah. Brent, you the guitar player? Bass player. Bass player. We need one. Hi, <laughs> John. Pleased to meet you, Brent. Likewise. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, it should be fun. You're, you know, you're in the coveted place right here. <laughs> yes, I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'll... You know, so be careful. Don't touch anything. <laughs> yeah. No, it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I haven't been in here since the remodel, so this is... Oh, really? Yeah. Really, uh, you yeah, know, last time I was in here, everything was black. <laughs> yeah. It was a vinyl floor, and all this was painted black, and... Wow. The control room is all stripped out, so... This is really well, it's been uh, recreated. <laughs> yeah, yeah so. the vibe is back. The vibe is back, yeah. Make it the happen. The mojo never left, but the vibe... We yeah, back. you know, it's just furniture, right? <laughs> Paint and furniture, yeah. that, that, is, that doesn't make music. <laughs> it's the people. That's why I, that's why I brought acts in that are from here. Yeah. I didn't fly acts in here. I brought them. The people here, it's in the water, right? That's what they say. Yeah. <laughs> over here, he's good, he's in the light. Somewhere over here. Uh, are you keyboard? Yeah. Oh, what's your name? Playing Dan Hunter. Oh. You gonna play B3? Yeah, Dan. Yeah. Okay. Like, so, like electric piano? Yeah. Well, it's gonna have to be because it's, right it's in the same song. So. Okay. You know, rather than. All right. So if we if we take a Leslie, we're gonna yeah. put it here, okay. and then we're gonna put your uh, the keyboard amplifier on top of it. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. That'll work. Okay. So this can stay right here then. And we'll well, what we're going to do is we're going to move that Leslie yeah. right back here somewhere. Right. Yeah. Let's right here. Yeah, I'm going to have a little combo like that. Perfect. Tilt that right here. Yeah, and then we'll get a nice stereo. Two guitar amps, keyboard in the center. Yeah. And then uh, bass. Bass back here. Bass we're going to put back here. This is the chart for this the session. You can see. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> we got the microphone. We have our singer, and we have a keyboard amplifier. In this case, it's going to be a Leslie speaker with a keyboard amp on top, and then guitar left and guitar right amplifier. And then we're going to position the players next to their amps. The keyboard player is going to be over here. He's going to be playing through a B3, and uh, and then the bass player will stand here and his ample here and drums back there. And this is preliminary. If this doesn't work. Then we're gonna have to start moving some stuff around, but that's uh, basically the layout. Got it? You'll be tested later. Right. Oh, I don't know. I don't want them in the dark. Oh, they won't be in the dark. It just won't be like the, pe the people that are gonna be mainly lit are the front people here by the softbox. Everyone else will have light on them. Mm -hmm. um, his face will be like lit. It's just it won't be the brightest. As okay. People. That's just because we're restricted. So to we can uh, once we get everybody up. Can you can do a preliminary shot, get yeah, that thing um, on your laptop so I can look at it. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. I want to be sure yeah, that uh, we get everybody. Well, and we get the room. Or, he wants this right here. Okay. Look at the millennia. It's already uh, flashing. It's good to go. See? What? I'll move it to that one. The dozens. You got it? The dozens. The dozens. They probably had a horn yeah. section at some point and fire everybody. <laughs> yeah, there's a story behind it. Six piece it. horn section. Not yet. We're getting there. <laughs> we step around. So we always do. So you have to try to stay in the center. But if it moves a little bit and it moves, it's, it's okay. 
And, so uh, if I get loud, I just want to go straight. Yeah, now thing. depending on how loud we get the band and how loud the drummer is, we'll de Throw. determine where yeah. you're going to be yeah, on this microphone. I've had people as close as this that we've had. But normally, you know, sort of the, Where's that you know, the normal yes, distance uh, from the microphone. Okay. So, well, um, I don't know what a normal distance is. I'm usually right on mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that would probably be a really good starting spot. Okay. Let me smooth this up just a hair. But uh, if I get you closer, I actually I'll put a little windscreen on there and I'll really get you centered. Okay. But for now, I'll just leave it right there. Okay. Thank you. Hi, right, you want to talk? Start of the show. Sure. But an interesting thing, I ran into a guitar player in one of the bands yesterday at a coffee shop in, in, in Muscle Shoals. <laughs> so I said, man, this is a small town. <laughs> yeah. Which coffee shop was? McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Turbo? <laughs> Turbo. Turbo. I figured that's a great name for a coffee shop. It's a good place. Yeah. And then he sent us to the uh, uh, Bunions. Yeah. So we got sorted out with the hot dogs and the sauerkraut or whatever. Yeah. The, the, the slaw. Slaw. Slaw thing. We just start somewhere and then we have to listen. So we can do seven feet. So we're going to move that in. This way. Your, that stool. To his seven foot? Yeah. Right. No tripping action. Or seven. Perfect. That's good. Okay. That gets us in the ballpark. Uh, all right. I don't need to block that at all, do I? So. Yeah. Although you want to avoid blocking it. So we're just in between these two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's that's great. Right. Mm -hmm. And you could, or you could be, or you could be on this side too. That's yeah. Uh, it's up to you. I think I might would rather be here because okay. I just feel like I'm just going to be like. Yeah, this is going to be really kind of omnidirectional. It's not. I stand next to this and uh, I'm used to it. Okay. <laughs> Got it. I, I may change my mind once we get going. Okay. I mean, is this our other amp, guitar amp? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Perfect. I, I love these. These are these are perfect for this project. Oh, really? I've used these before. Yeah. Hey. All right. They, uh, you know, no they got the. You know, you can break them up. Did you have uh, to put it up like Travis's? Yeah, right. we're gonna put it up there, and then we're gonna be seven feet, and we're gonna be in line with this number. This number here is where we gotta be. So. There's the two, so it's gonna, we're gonna swing around. Swing this thing around to about here, and then we're gonna go out seven feet. Just right to, yeah, where the speaker is. That's perfect. Yeah. Oh, awesome. That that's what you call physical this panning. That's what I know. <laughs> physical cool. pan. You know, because the room is, a, is, is kind of dead, mm -hmm. um, it's it's gonna sound a lot like a, a microphone closer to the amp. Yeah. It's not gonna sound like you're far away in the room. I know it scares people when they see their stuff this far away. Oh, no, <laughs> but I've never seen a microphone. No, you're gonna want it. It's really cool. You'd be really surprised at the, how close it can sound. Yeah. Oh, man. Sure. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay. I don't know why everyone's so excited about it, because <laughs> I'm, I'm taking all the... <laughs> Normally we put microphones on this, and you could come back tomorrow and redo all your parts. Mm -hmm. you see? <laughs> You're not going to get to do that. And he's still it. excited. Got to play it right. He still thinks he wants to do it. Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just pumped to be There's here. A, a whole, awesome. two generations of people that only have been close mic'd and uh, you know get to do their stuff later <laughs> and get to fix it later. And that that's a hard generation to talk to sometimes about this. But you guys are troopers, man. You're jumping right in with both feet. I'm you, fix it. Well, you guys aren't scared. We'll kind of fix it. You want to do it. <laughs> Not scared at all. <laughs> You're all too stoned. You're all too stoned. They don't even know what I'm doing. They're so high, they don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs>
you know, sometimes when I talk to bands, I, I talk to like the leader usually about this and I explain the process and they usually get it and, you know, it's ready to cooperative and go, and go yeah. on. But they don't tell the rest of the band, right? So the rest of the band comes, the drummer shows up and goes, well, why aren't you going to put a microphone on my kick drum? No snare drum? No microphone on my snare drum? Yeah. Yeah, we'll play Oh, you didn't get the memo. Put that in that little mixer. <laughs> um, it's going to control them. Uh, that's where I like to be. No, it's going to take the bird in here. Safety. <laughs> and then I was, uh... <laughs> And um, we can uh, um, just do one continuous timeline. Okay. But we'll use a different. We'll use a, a second stereo track for the second song. So when we're done, it'll look like okay. you know one and two. There'll be four or five, six, eight takes, and then down on the second one in the timeline will be the other. Two stereo audio tracks. Yeah, we'll have two stereo audio tracks. Uh, yeah, one session folder for this band, another session folder for the second band. Okay. Uh, this is the dozens. Okay. Yeah, I've named it the dozens. Do you know the names of the songs? Uh, no, I don't know what order they're going to do them in. And so this is my playback level right here. Yes, sir. Okay. Can I bring it down here? Is it on the cable? Um, let's make it try. If it's not, the, oh no, no, there's a bunch of stuff plugged in. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, it's plugged into Sorry. these monitors. And yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. What version of Pro Tools are we on? 12.8. Oh, okay. okay. She was singing through a PA. Mm -hmm. But of course that's not the case. Um, so the volumes you're, you're at right now, we're going to have to probably start at about half of what that is to get us kind of closer to the ballpark. It seems a little weird uh, to be playing rock and roll at that level. <laughs> but um, it will work. Um, you can wear headphones if you like. Um, it might be a more satisfying experience because you're going to actually hear the full finished mix in your headphones. Or if you're down real low, you're not going to be able to hear Shelly too much. You, know? mm -hmm. um, you may want headphones um, so you can hear the mix while you're singing, it's up to you. Um, depends on how quiet we can get these guys because if you're going to just stand here and sing and compete against all these amps and stuff, they're going to have to be down pretty low. So what I'll, I'd like to do, well, let me first of all introduce you. This is Nathaniel, he's a cinematographer. Uh, hey. right? This is my son Chris, he's a photographer. Chris. And if you guys want band shots or something after the session, out in front or anything, he'll take care of that for you. It's up to awesome. you. Yeah. That's some stuff for your Facebook or whatever. Um, and then we'll send them to you. But he'll be doing shots in here and we'll get you access to all those photographs. Everything we do here is yours. Um, so what I like to do is start with the, uh, the primaries, which would, of course would be Shelley singing, and maybe um, one or two guitars, um, and get that balanced. And once we get that balanced, then we kind of need. Then we'll know how loud you're going to be, and how loud the drums get to be. Um, and that's sort of you just sort of build it like like if you're about to start a mix. You know, you kind of like start with the lead singer and start with, well, what's the next most important instrument? And you start to slowly build the thing up until everyone's really comfortable. Right. We just start from the top. Um, let's get you, because I can see how, yeah, let's get, yeah, let's try, let's start, I'll, I'll, actually I'll, I'll mark that so okay. we'll, we'll have a spot for you. Okay. Uh, we'll have some tape, I think we have some tape somewhere. Uh, <clears throat> 
so go ahead. Why don't you just play a little bit? Let me just hear what it sounds like in the room. Um, Let me count you. Just like the two. I just want to hear two guitars and shell. That's oh, it. okay. Yeah. That's, you, you, you two guys are pretty well balanced. It's a little bright. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. going to ask you to trim some of the top off of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, you could come down like, uh, like 20%. Mm -hmm. You could come up like oh, yeah. 20%. <laughs> don't tell him that. Yeah, don't tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> but don't let it go to your head. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I know when you when those pots, pots get down that that low, it's just it's all or nothing. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's uh, let me go listen. To what that. I should have well, you know what? I should have kept it. Figure to mute that one. Let's try that. You, you might have come down a little too low. Sounds good. Cool. We're in stereo? Yes, sir. Should be. Since guitars are not. Oh, uh, yeah. Do they need to be yeah. flipped? Get those out, yeah. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, this is good. Good. <laughs> I think we got a good start. Right, I'm gonna, okay. Let's do a full take and then um, have you go in and listen to it. Now, I'll, I'll warn you, that control room isn't built to today's standards. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> By any stretch of the imagination. It's, it'd be like a playback maybe in your bedroom or something. Because yeah. uh, the, the, the walls are very narrow. There's a hard surface in the back and there's Mackie speakers. So, um, But I'm using my headphones, which I really know really well, and you're glad to pop those on and listen to it with that. But uh, what we're looking for when you go in and listen to it is just sort of the, uh, the basic balance. Is the vocal too loud for the rest of the track? Can we hear Travis when he's, when he's doing his solos? Um, is, he, is the organ uh, building up the track w w uh, during those courses where we need it? Are the drum fills um, uh, too much? The, you know, the cymbals, um, do you have any other cymbals? Uh, no, these are the darkest, quietest ones. Okay. They, at the end, you know, when you're whacking them, mm -hmm. they get, because they're heavy cymbals, yeah. so they're, they're thicker and they're a little louder. You know, they're, they're great for stage. Yeah. But um, you got to just be a little conscious of that. 
it could, could, you know, back off 25 percent when you're whacking them. Um, but it, I think we're at a good starting space where I feel comfortable enough to record and have you listen to it. <laughs> you know, um, and then we'll, we'll go from there because your feedback's really important at this point because, it, in fact, we're mixing the record right now. This is a mix, so you have to kind of treat it like that. Um, it won't sound like a, a, a record that's been close mic. I warn you, just right off. Um, but it, um, it, it, it should have the organic um, sound and energy uh, of a, a, a tight band playing a great song. I mean, that's really um, what we're looking for. That the lighting is good. She's going to move. Which because if he needs to move, move out into the light to a spot, we can do that. I mean, maybe take a step forward too when you do your solo. Like step up, like right to like maybe about here or so. Oh, yeah, really? that'll that'll help. Yeah. Going to turn you in. And, and, yeah. And yes. And you can you can move back. It's, yeah. it's a nice dramatic move. Yeah. If, if, if you it's, stand back and let him come in and play. The lighting is a lot better on him now. It's just got a little bit of a shadow, but you can definitely see his guitar, his face, everything. Right. And, and so, we're not the light coming in the back. We're not going to have that in the shot. It's gonna be in there. Like you'll see that it's there, just purely because. But I don't want to see the light itself in the shot. It's like impossible based on the height of the room. <laughs> Not in twenty fifth with like the. 20th. Well, if you, is it your angle? It's well, it's the angle, and it's the fact that like if I if I'm here, you won't see it. Yeah. But then when I come down like this, it's like oh, I wait, have to. Were well, you gonna come down and and and? Uh, like I'll come down and come in like that. So the big you, thing so, is I'm just not cutting off like. I don't want to keep, I want a little bit of headroom. So if I'm trying to avoid but that when, light. But if you start back where we know it's him playing the solo, and then as he's playing the solo, you. you yeah, I'll come in close and everything. Be on sure it. you get both hands. Yeah. Because the bottle is, is the. Yeah. The all the action you'll, see, you'll see it on here. Yeah, I mean, a wide shot with that is fine. Okay, cool. Uh, the big question is when I get up yeah. on her, there's a really good angle of like. So I removed this yellow off of her. That was tilted up a little bit. That's going to be removed. So she won't have that yellow okay. spot on her. So, but yeah, he's in the light here. So if he That's steps forward, he's even better. Yeah. Okay, so this angle is like the good, like this is like the even paint. I'm really surprised the camera's not grabbing focus on that mic. I centered it. So oh. it's on a center focus, so it's a really tight spot, which means yeah. I just have to make sure that whoever's in the, like, see, it'll jump quickly to him. That looks good. So he'll come out even more, which he'll brighten up even more for that solo. That look, he looks good. Yeah, yeah. he looks good. The guitar looks this good. This is cool on the yellow. I dig that. I just can't get it it's down. A it's a bit much. Where was that light coming from? That yellow? Right there, yeah. Can we, is it, there's I dimmers I cannot on? dim it at all, yeah. That thing, is, that thing is where it's at and staying there. So, there's him. Yeah, he looks great. Yeah, we we'll want to remove this. I love the blue. The blue in the back is awesome. Yeah, it's cool. Is there anything distracting we need to, like, get out of the room, move from we'll the room? We'll just move cases and stuff. So okay, so then here's back to the wide again. I'm gonna move him in a little bit, so he'll be sitting like right here. Oh, is he gonna sit? Yeah, it'll yeah. it'll add a little bit of it'll make it. So let me see where I went down. Okay, here's his solo. Mm -hmm. I dig like these looking up angles like that mm -hmm. when it, the focus pulls to there. Mm -hmm. So if you're down with that, it shows the light more. Oh, sound okay? Yeah. I love the yeah. sound. Great. I always worry about the drums because they get the yeah, short shrift here. That's well, no, okay. You know, because, yeah, you know, <laughs> when they started um, having more microphones in studios, you know where they went? They all went to the drummer. <laughs> yeah. How many mics you got? Oh, we got six microphones here. We're a brand new studio, state-of-the-art modern. We got six mics. He goes, great, put five on the drums. <laughs> <laughs> Except, uh, it's all mono. Oh, there we go. Now she's off to the right. Oh. Yeah, we're getting we're getting close. Man, you can sing. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> And it's, it's Sunday morning. Well, it's church. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of people singing right now in church. It is super hard for me not to move laterally. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Um, my headphone feed in there is a little left heavy or right heavy. 
So it's kind of it's messing up my ability to get this thing balanced properly. So I'm, I'm having him do some making some changes in there. So I because your vocal has to be dead center in my head. And then I know if you're too loud or not loud enough. Right. If you're off to one side, it's like I don't know what's going on. So right. I have to get that fixed. So we just take a little teeny teeny weeny break. Um, well, actually, what? Um, I mean, I can. Is it? I mean, I can move. If you need me to move this way. No, it's not. It's not I that. Move the amp here, and then I can be here. No, in my headphones right now, uh, her voice is off to the side. Oh, which, the voice. Oh, gotcha. Which tells me that my headphone feed is not correct. Oh. No, um, I got you. Yeah. So if it's off, then I have no. If that's my calibration. Oh. I have no way of knowing anything else. So I have to get her right. Let me just check the preamp, make sure it's that's set right. Um, why don't we? Oh, I'm sorry. I said you could take a break. I'm just gonna take that guitar off. back on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have the have the two. The guitars are, are real close, or within uh, 15, 25 percent of where they need to be. Let's try to get the bass into that and see if. Um, You don't have to sing if you don't want to. If you want to continue to sing to warm up, so, or you go out there and you sing for two hours, so you're very good. Okay, I get it. Bass okay? I'm happy with it. If you can feel it, that's where we want it to be. Okay. Yeah. You don't. That doesn't necessarily mean you always get to hear every note you're playing, but if we feel it, then it's doing its job. You can do your solo bass record some other time. <laughs> hey, it's, yeah. it's, it's coming. <laughs> so I tell drummers, they go, "Well, my snare drum," and I say, "Look, you already have a record where you spent three days on the snare drum sound, yeah. so right. you know." <laughs> Exactly. Okay. Um, let's, let's do it again. Let's do a take three. What did you think of your performance? Because I, I, I don't know you the band all that well, so I thought it was great. I liked it. But, you know, yeah. you think you all can better it. Mm -hmm. All yeah. right. Yeah, we can always play it. Not me. That was my good stuff. We can make it. <laughs> well, that's important yeah. to know. We can make it worse, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's easy. All right. I had one note we got flat. Okay. All right, let's do another one. So, um, we're going to call this take three. Yeah, okay. All right. Are you rolling? Yep. Nathaniel? I'm rolling. All right, take three. Downstairs in the basement of uh, Muscle Shoals Sound Studios here in Sheffield, and um, with the dozen band. And I guess my first question, since I only see a half a dozen, is how did we how do we end up with a dozen when we have a half a dozen? How do we end up with that name? The dozens is um, you know when you call it's a it's a game people play. Your mom is so fat. It's called playing the dozens. I don't know if you've ever heard no. of that, but. They wanted to na use my name in the band, and I said, absolutely not. And I kept being pressured, and I kept saying, how about your mama's so fat? Because I was really pregnant when this band came together. And they kept pushing and kept pushing. I said, okay, the dozens. And 
That was it. <laughs> See, I knew there would be a story behind that. It's actually not a bad name because when you Google the dozens, the first thing that comes up is the game of the dozens where the you want so fat stuff. And then the next thing is us. So, <laughs> so that's pretty cool, you know. So when you go out on stage and somebody goes, hey man, where's the fat chick? Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pointed down, was in there. I used to be a chick, but <laughs> before the <laughs> <Before they're laughs> So, just uh, how did you guys feel about doing that? I mean, was that a little weird? I was, I've been nervous about it for a while. Yeah. Um, we, we've all had some studio experience, but you know, it's kind of more like a a, tra a track and pace thing. And yeah. You know, even though the last two records we did kind of, kind of cut live, a lot of it was cut live and kept. But there was a lot of guitar fix fixed parts and, and, and everything really. So I was kind of nervous about that, but the last few live shows we've done have been have went really well. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't, I never walked away thinking, oh man, somebody did this bad or this bad. Everything was just kind of tight, so that kind of eased the pain, I guess, coming in thinking, well, if if we if we do as well we as we've done the last few live shows, then it's all going to go okay. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't worried. But I'm being eternal optimist. I knew they could do it. I wasn't worried. I mean, I wasn't worried. You know, I was just kind of like, well, I hope this doesn't last eight hours. Well, you know, if you spend yeah. a lot of time in a recording studio making, um, you know, perfect records, which yeah. we can do now. Oh, yeah. Um, you, and, you, and you probably have all done it enough where you've kind of gone down that path where it's never good enough. You keep fixing it and keep fixing it and just go and go and go. You oh, know? yeah. And it, and it never ends. And a lot of the bands I've talked to go, you know, uh, the one mic stuff is better than our albums. I'm not saying it, it's the case here, be, because they did go down the rabbit hole with Pro Tools and uh, they ended up with something they don't even recognize mm -hmm. because it, it got too perfect. So it does take um, a leap of faith to, to come in and, 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 and do it around one microphone, but the, I think the results um, uh, make it worthwhile. You know? I think you can go. You can leave knowing that uh, you did it, and um, it's in you. It's actually in you. Mm -hmm. Maybe the next time you go to make a record, maybe you'll cut a little bit more live. Maybe you have a little right. bit more faith in your abilities. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, a lot of young guys they come in and they start playing, and, and uh, they know psychologically in the back of their mind that if they make a mistake, I can fix it later, or I'm going to come back next week and redo all my bass part anyway. So are they yeah. really in the track? Are they really feeling it? Are they really on the spot? Are they really doing what's necessary to make it happen for that magic moment? Because we're always looking for that magic moment. We heard it upstairs. Right. You know, it happened. This was like, bang, it was like there. And, but if everybody in the back of their mind thinks, oh, I can always fix my part, we, we may never get there, you know? Yeah. So I take that away from you. You don't get to do that, yeah. you don't get to mix it, there's no post-production, it is what it is, and I think you guys, fantastic. All Thank, you. Thank you. Really Thanks great. for having us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so this much. Awesome. Yeah. So. When I first contacted you about this, I was kind of nervous because I was like, oh man, we, it's in Muscle Shoals, and I think I said something about, <coughs> we'll do Memphis, um, or most, we don't care. If it was L.A., we'd drive to L.A. to do this, because I was like, this is, if you want us to do it, we'll do it. And uh, you, you you responded back and you was like, yeah, I think I like you guys. I think we're going to do that. And then like a few weeks later, you said, I'm looking for bands from Muscle Shoals. I was like, oh, man, he didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just kind of left it alone. But I, I'm just tickled we got to do it, really. Because, I mean, not, not only the, the one mic thing in the series that you're doing and, and getting to work with you, but also being in... Mm -hmm. this yeah, doing it here. Yeah. Yeah. But that's yeah. probably made me more nervous than anything is, right. being, is just looking around thinking of all the people that's been through here and it's yeah. just well and it is the people let's yeah. face it I mean this is a building at the end of the day and it doesn't make any music yeah. it's the people that come here yeah. this is why I came to you and I wanted you know indigenous band so to speak yeah. to, to a band from the area who's from here, who's the water is in their play, you know, who can come here and perform here in this building. Yeah, yeah. I think that's uh, is why uh, we're doing it this way. Yeah. So, um, thank you. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, this is awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It was great. I think we're done.
Cool.